Hey friends, it's Caroline. Um, thanks for meeting me on my deck again. Um, I had a request um, to teach moon salutation. And so I thought that I would bring to you not your typical um, full length yoga class, um, but just strictly the moon salutation. And so to give you a little background about that is um, Moon salutation is typically done late afternoon to early evening. Um, it is going to prepare you for, to prepare your mind and your body for starting to come down, wind down, relaxing, kind of gearing up towards getting into that nighttime sleep mode um, is what I have read and studied. However, uh, whenever I've practiced moon salutation, um, it increases my heart rate and I get just as much of a workout as if I'm doing a sun salutation A or a B. Um, so I think you take from it what you can. Um, there's uh, modifications for uh, this moon salutation that I'll show you a couple dif different options. Um, but I like it because it's something different to do. Um, so without further ado, um, we will start in, um, standing up on our mats. I'm trying to think real quick if there's anything else I need to tell you about moon salutation. Um, I don't think so. Um, I do have to have counters, so I've got my yummy crystal quartz over here to help me keep track of the amount of times that we do this moon salutation. Um, so anyway, thank you, Tammy, for reaching out and requesting that, and um, here we go. Let's get started. I remember what I was going to say. I was going to tell you really quick is that uh, moon salutation is matched just like sun salutation breath and body movement so um, what we're going to do first is slow it down so that we can feel each asana feel each pose that we're in um, focus on deep belly breathing in these poses and um, as we work through the different sequence um, or the different sets, I should say. Um, we will start to increase the speed just a little bit so we can get to the point where we're matching breath and body movement with inhales and exhales, but we'll slow it down first. That's what I meant to say, um, to share with you friends. So um, let's get started. We're gonna stand on our mats. And we're traveling from one end of the mat to the other. So you literally are going to need to stand on one side and we're traveling back and forth, okay? So let's go ahead and get rooted and grounded down into our mats, okay? Lift all your toes up and release back down. Nice big inhale. As you inhale through the nose, belly, rises out, outward. And as you exhale through the nose, drawing belly back to spine. Inhale. Exhale. This last one, take an inhale. Open mouth, side out. It's Friday. Okay. Moon salutation. Inhale, arms up. Interlace fingers. Press your palms through. Side bend to the right. Side bend to the left. And then we're going to step out into goddess pose. Okay, I like to make the AOK -okay sign with my hands, the Gayan Mudra. So I want you to feel this pose, feel um, the energy traveling up the thighs, feel your muscles start to turn on, drawing the shoulder blades together. 
We're going to pivot our body to the right and come into triangle pose. And remember, you can use a block here if you don't want your hand on your shin. All right, we're going to pivot our bodies to the right again and come into pyramid. So we just shorten the stance. Both legs are straight, hands to heart center, torso is parallel to the floor. Inhale through your nose. As you exhale, you're going to fold towards that front leg. You can bring your hands to the mat. You can bring your hands to a couple of blocks or books or Tupperware bowls. You can even put a bend in that front knee if you need it. You don't have to lock that knee. All right, stepping back into a low lunge, dropping the left knee down. Inhaling arms up. I'm loving cactus pose lately. So let's bring the arms out, chest open. Release the hands to the mat, pivot your body to the left. We're gonna come into a side lunge, a side squat. Hands can be on a block, book, Tupperware bowl, or they can be down to the mat. traveling across to the other side. All right, pivot your bodies to the left, coming into low lunge on the other side. And whatever your body is feeling, if you wanna keep arms extended towards the heavens, reaching up for the moon, you can do that. Okay. Release the hands down to the mat. Step into your pyramid pose. Hands to heart center, torso parallel to the floor. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping back into triangle pose. Keeping shoulders stacked over each other. Coming up into goddess pose. Right foot meets the left. Inhale, arms up, press palms through, side bend, other side, hands to heart center, and point your fingers down, closing your eyes. Inhale, arms up, interlace, press palms through, side bend, other side. Stepping out into goddess pose. Drawing the belly towards the spine. All right, pivoting our body to the left, coming into triangle. Stepping into pyramid pose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale forward fold towards that front leg. Lowering the right knee down to a low lunge. Release the hands down, pivot your body to the right for side lunge or side squat. Traveling over to the other side, side lunge. Good. 
Pivot your body to the right, coming into a low crescent lunge, other side. All right, release the hands down, stepping into pyramid pose. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Stepping the left foot back, coming into triangle. You can look down at your foot. You can look sideways, or you can look up towards that hand reaching towards the heavens. Coming up into goddess pose. Left foot meets the right. Inhale, arms up, interlace. Side bend. Other side. Hands to heart center. Pointing the fingers down. Relax the shoulders, closing the eyes. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, side out. So that's one complete round. You can relax for a minute. That's one complete round of a moon salutation. So we're going to increase the speed just a little bit. All right, inhale, arms up, press palms through, side bend, other side. Stepping into goddess pose. Pivoting to the right for triangle. Pivoting to the right, coming into pyramid. Inhale through the nose, exhale. Folding towards the front leg. Dropping the left knee down. Coming into a low crescent lunge. Releasing the hands down. Pivot to the left. Coming into your side lunge or side squat. So option here is you can keep hands connected to books or blocks or the mat. Or... You can bring your hands to chest level. And then side lunge, other side. So this just takes your practice up a notch. Rotate to the left, come into your low lunge on the other side, drop the right knee down. All right, stepping into your pyramid pose. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping the right foot back, coming into triangle. Cartwheeling the arms up, coming into your goddess pose. All right, right foot meets the left. Inhale, arms up, press palms through, side bend. Other side. Hands to heart center. Pointing the fingers down. Inhale, arms up. Press palms through. Side bend. Other side. All right, goddess pose. Pivoting to the left for triangle. Pivoting to the left, coming into your pyramid. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, folding towards the front leg. Releasing that right knee down to the earth, coming into your low crescent lunge. Releasing the hands down to the mat, pivot to the right as you come into your side lunge. Side lunge, other side. 
All right, pivoting to the right. Drop the left knee. Low crescent lunge. That sun feels so good. All right, releasing hands down, coming into pyramid pose. Inhale through the nose, torso's parallel. Exhale, fold towards the front leg. Stepping the left foot back, coming in to triangle pose. And then cartwheeling the arms up, coming into your goddess pose. All right, left foot meets the right. Inhale, arms up, press palms through. Side bend, other side. Hands to heart center. Relax the shoulders, fingertips pointing towards the earth, closing the eyes, resting for just a moment. And release. All right, that was number two of our moving salutation. One more round, friends. So I hope that you see that you're getting just as much of um, cardio and yummy stretches um, through moon salutation as you do a sun salutation, okay? Inhale, arms up, press palms through. Last one, friends, side bend, the other side. Stepping the left foot out into goddess pose. Coming into triangle. This time we're gonna move quicker, matching breath with body. Coming into pyramid, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Dropping the left knee down for a low crescent lunge. Releasing the hands down, coming into your side squat. Other side. Pivoting to the left, low crescent lunge. Coming into pyramid pose. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping the right foot back, coming into triangle. Coming into goddess. Right foot meets the left. Inhale, arms up, press palms through. Side bend. Other side. Hands to heart, pointing the fingertips down. Inhale, arms up. Press palms through, side bend, other side. Stepping out into goddess with your right foot. Pivot to the left, triangle. Pyramid, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Right foot goes back for low crescent lunge. Release hands down, come into your side lunge, your side squat, either here or here. Traveling across to the other side. Releasing the left knee down, low crescent lunge, other side. Coming into pyramid pose. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Coming into triangle pose, right foot should be in the front. Cartwheeling the arms up into goddess. Left foot meets the right. Inhale, arms up, press palms through, side bend, other side. Hands to heart center, pointing the fingertips down, relaxing the shoulders, softening the eyes and the face. Rooting down through all toes. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, side out. And release. So, I got really caught up in the moon salutation, so I'm not really sure if we, I think we did three um, complete sets of 
that um, wonderful exercise. And um, if not, you get the gist of it and you keep going with this, right? So now that you kind of practice it and get it ingrained into that muscle memory, um, it's a wonderful different yoga tool to put in your toolbox, okay? So um, carry on friends and um, cheers. It is Friday, right? All right, Mwah. until next time.